everybody and welcome back to some Bleach Immortal Full. And today we're playing, uh, we're just gonna be talking about some things. Uh, now, first of all, I already did everything I had to do. As you can see, my stamina's are pretty low. Um, cause I already did everything I had to do last night. And I made sure to keep the things that I have to do, uh, to talk about in this video. Cause, um, we do have two new, uh, characters coming out. Over here. Uh, we have her, uh, Hiori. Hiori? 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 Yeah. That's all I got. And then we got, um, Lisa. Oh, thank God. A generic name. A generic American name. I can pronounce it so easily. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with Kensei and with Rukia, uh, I mean, uh, Unahana when they came out because, um, I can just recharge, um, five days for their, for her, get, um, her, and then use the points, or the, uh, little tokens, what are they called? They are called gold tokens. I'm gonna use the gold tokens to get Lisa. Um, they're the only two that are gonna come out, so we'll talk about them today also. Uh, but other than them, that's about it. They have Hitsugaya Toshiro's weapon here. But, um, his impacto, but, I mean, 300 again, <laughs> really? Nah, fam. So, that's that. But, uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now, which is gonna be worrying about, um, this. I didn't do this last night because I didn't show you guys this, but this is Aizen, uh, and I'm guessing you're defending the Nakar Nakarakura town from him, which, uh, so... Like, in this event, it's going on for, I think it was a week. So, um, right here you would battle him, and depending on how much damage you do to him, uh, during this battle, you get gold tokens for each one. I think I do roughly enough to get 20, 19? I think it's 19 tokens when I last did it. Um, but yeah, that's all you're really doing is just fighting him. Which I think it's fine. It's a pretty cool event, um, and thankfully he doesn't do an insane amount of damage. He does pretty decent amount of damage, which is cool because a lot of times when they release, uh, well, when like Naruto releases events like this, like Seal of the Nine Tails, at least in the beginning, it's whipping your ass. It's it's, it's giving you the hands. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's definitely um, it, it's definitely giving it to you raw, if you know what I mean. So. But this one's like, it's it's pretty cool. And then he gets exhausted here. Uh, so you'll get to do some free damage for a turn where he does nothing, where he does nothing to you. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, and then everyone, uh, what's, what's cool is that everyone that who attacks him uh, can actually, you can actually see the damage of every, like the um, actual replays from everyone. So I thought that was pretty cool. You could watch them if you wanted to, you know. I don't know, watch other people do it or see how the team works against them. I don't know. Whichever. So, that's cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this pretty much. And then, um, I guess we'll talk about Hiori and Lisa. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty interested in Lisa because it looks like she would be good, but I don't know anything about the characters, so. Don't know. Just have the suspicion about her. But then again, I had a suspicion about freaking. Kimpachi's lieutenant little girl and she ended up being only good with other girls so yeah yeah that's the thing <sighs> exhausted again Ooh, well that's some juicy crits I wonder if I get any more tokens. The most I've ever seen is people get 19. I don't know if I didn't want to get 20. Although I didn't see Bayushi did it, so maybe he can, because he's probably the highest on the server right now in terms of damage. So, oh, also forgot to tell this, uh, say this though. Um, my um, Byakuya is now a um, is now a UR. I actually managed to fill his tree out last night um, from doing the extreme challenges, so he's finally a UR, which is awesome. Awesome. How much do I got? 
19, yeah, see? Let's see, maybe I can. Don't think so, though, because 19, he is actually surviving a lot. Yeah, look at that bar. That bar is barely moving. Jesus. He can get CC. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. I might get it. Come on. Get me that extra token. No. Oh, yeah. 20. Mm. Bag him and tag him. Yeah. Okay. Bag him and tag him, boys. But yeah, usually it's 19. It's like 17, 17, 18, 14, 17, 19, see? Usually 19 is that number. See? So like, yeah. 19. Yeah, most people get generically 19. I got that 20 though. Oh, yeah, boy. All right. All right. First off, uh, let me just do my free thing because you know, gotta get gotta get my free jones in. Oh, okay. What are you? Um, did get this? Okay, now like I'm done there, let's go back to the serious stuff. Okay, so let's go check out Hiyori first. Uh, okay, she's the tank lifesteal, so th she would be in the same realm as Ukiora, but he has these tank high lifesteal. So she is only tank lifesteal. So she might be, she might do what he does, but just a little less as being an SSR. So, uh, her, her normal skill is called Gatling Mad Stomping. Yeah, right? Why does it always look weird on my computer? Yeah, Gatling Mad Stomping. Uh, deals damage to an enemy and bleeds the target for one round. Hiyori's defense also increases by 10% for one round. The bleed receives damage based on the attacker. The attacker's attack when a round ends. Okay, so it's based off of their attack. So she might do good against attack type people, because obviously, if you're a defense, that's not gonna. Wait, is the the attacker's attack? No, that's your attack. So it's doing it based off of your attack because of attackers. So, all right. That's not too bad. I mean, I, I'm guessing it's your base attack. Um, she won't have a lot because she's not a really a... She's not a damage dealer. But that's not bad. 150% plus 10. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, her rage or her ultimate... Yeah, rage skill. I guess that's what they call it. Uh, Sukiori. See? Oh my god. Don't know. Don't know. Deals damage to an enemy to an enemy front row and heals for 10% of the damage dealt. If any of the targets is bleeding, he already heals for 10% of the damage dealt instead. Oh, okay. Hold on. So she'll deal damage to everyone in the front, and if any of the targets is bleeding, he already heals for 10% of the damage dealt instead. So again, another 10%. When weapon is awakened, damage increases greatly and increases the percentage of healing and deals a percentage of the, of the current HP as extra damage to the target. That's crazy. At least if you have it and upgrade it. Increases the percentage of the healing and deals a percentage of the current HP as extra damage to the target. That's pretty crazy. Okay, if you get... If you get 10%, oh, okay. uh, if you get 10%, but it says, uh, the, 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 the part that confused me, it says deals damage to the enemy and heals for 10% of the damage dealt, instead of uh, the damage dealt, but it says if any of the targets are bleed is bleeding, he already heals for 10% of the damage instead, but you're already doing that. So is it another 10? 
don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know. It's, a, it's the same thing. Is that supposed to be extra on top of it? It would. It would like. It, I thought if it was say extra, it would say he uh, he already heals for it an extra ten percent of the damage also or something like that. Like it. It just says instead damage dealt instead, and this already does damage dealt. So I I don't I don't know. No idea. No no idea. Unless it's people. In the back, that if they're bleeding, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Passive skill is short temper. Uh, increases Hiyori's recovery rate. Also, when she reaches 80%, 60%, 40%, or 20% HP for the first time, she gains a stack of fury. Each stack of fury increases increases max HP by 10% to a maximum of 150%. Current HP. Ratio does not change. Wait, what? Each stack of fury increases max HP by 10% to a maximum of 150. So she actually increases her health. Current HP ratio does not change. That actually is pretty crazy. That's a pretty cool skill. And again, I love how they actually tell you what Fury does, because that would be frustrating not doing knowing what that was. But that's really cool. That's I like that. That's a cool ability. I mean, she's not an amazing tank, like, but that's not bad. It is especially if she gets her ultimate off a lot. What does she run? Oh, she's a the basic attack regenerates. Oh, okay. It'd be better if she was like a. No, uh, I guess basically that wouldn't be. I mean, but she's a tank, which is, I guess, a little weird. I guess it would be on how much damage she could actually take. I have, I don't have, like, the only tank I've ever seen people run with is, like, Renji or, like, like, I, I don't know, because most people run, most people run, like, attackers in the front row or whatever. So, like, it, it's hard to say, like, Like how much a tank? Like use. I mean, they use uh, Kumamura too. I mean, uh, but I, it's just hard to say how much a tank would actually tank in that situation. Especially since she has life steal, she probably lasts for a long time. But nowadays, you don't see a lot of people using tanks. I don't even have a tank myself. Like he's the closest thing. I mean, he lives pretty good. But then again, he's an orange plus one, so he should be living up pretty good. You know? So, I, I don't really know. It'd be cool to see someone use her though. That'd be pretty sick, nasty, dope stuff. So, so. alright, so let's see Lisa. Oh, generic name, I love it. Generic name. Okay, a back row triple attacker. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So, panty flash tornado. Dang, you girl, you can shut your pants. <laughs> what? Okay. <clears throat> Deals damage to a, uh, an enemy. This skill ignores 20% of the target's defense and has a 20% chance to remove one buff from the enemy. So if you're facing a buff heavy team, which most teams at least get a, some buffs here and there, so I'm guessing that would actually be pretty good. Um, 20 and ignores 20% of your, def, your defense, so kind of like true damage a little bit. Um, that's nice on a skill though, because she is a back row triple attacker, but I... Uh, guessing damage on enemy just means anybody. Uh, I mean, she would be good against defense people. Like, it's not a lot of defense, but 20% still a portion of their defense, which is still nice. In Battle Arena and Kanpachi Carnage, the attack, defense, and HP of all characters. Uh, all characters are increased by 2%. Oh, okay. Sick, nasty, dope. Okay. Um, oh my god, why? Not even gonna try. Uh, rage skill. Deals damage to an enemy, to the enemy back row. The less targets there are in the enemy back row, the more the damage. Last one round. When the weapon is awakened, damage increased greatly and deals, and deals a random debuff on one of the targets. Oh, okay. A random one, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's a lot of damage, man. 
285 percent plus 22 and it does more damage if people are that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage that's not bad question though let me before I continue let me just see because I know what's his name does the same thing he does Tosin. so what would you what is your damage numbers? 152 percent oh yeah that's a lot more she gonna she gonna hurt you know what she'll be good in too um the one-on-one -on -one battles because it says that she deals more damage um if you're by yourself so it, for less people so she'll actually ult you for a lot of damage in one-on-one -on -one battles i might run her in the one-on-one -on -one battles just to be a a douchebag. Okay. Erotic Manga Lover. <laughs> uh, if there are white tiger... If there are, if there are white tiger al allies alive... I, why did I struggle with that? I, I thought it was going to be a different word at the end. White tiger allies alive. Lisa deals more damage to male enemies. Oh, come on, though. If there are Azor dragon al allies alive, her... Uh, if there are Azura Dragon allies alive, her rage skill has a chance to apply crush. If there are Vermilion birds, v v Vermilion bird allies alive, her rage skill has a 40% chance to bleed her target for one round. If there are Black Tortoise allies alive, her rage skill life steals for 8% of the damage dealt. That's not bad, it's just it requires you to have certain people, and I guess if that you have them all, you don't really care, but damage increased to male people. I just hate this gender thing. Ugh, just, I don't know. Their targets is current HP is over 70%, 60% more damage dealt to the target. That's a lot. Holy crap. If they're over 70%. Rush chance is 25%. Blade chance is 10%. Hmm. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know. The whole male thing is weird, but I guess I, I guess it's not so bad because everyone would deal something with her. So, I mean, maybe you have one of each team thing on a team. I mean, the problem would be that, like, for example, my team is missing the vermilion which is a fire one so like i wouldn't get that benefit you know what i'm saying or the tortoise one actually either so i wouldn't get that one either so like that's why in a way it's like meh but i don't know i, don't know. I do like her skill though because she can do a lot of damage and i feel like that would be dope sick nasty so Hopefully, hopefully. I'm gonna get her so, you know, whenever that happens, that happens. But uh, I'm gonna use her here. Like, here would think that would be cool to use her there. I think it would be cool to use her. But I can't do anything until I get, you know, until I get her. So, but yeah, people, I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Um, nothing else has been happening, but I wanted to show you guys the event so I knew you guys know how to do the event. And um, I probably won't show when I get them because I've already reviewed them. But, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, though. Yeah, whatever that is. Alright, guys, I love you, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.